Adam Waffen emerged onto the scene in 2016. Since that time, there have been five murders linked to Adam Waffen. As a nascent group, that's a pretty high number. If you were to ask the average person here in the United States, they'd have no clue of what or who this group is. And yet it is important to tell the story. They operate very differently than other white supremacist organizations. They prefer to surprise their enemy. They're not like patriots, they're not out in the street marching. They're, you know, hiding away. The idea is they do these kind of hit and run attacks. They don't want to, you know, take office. They want to burn the office. Adam Waffen wants publicity. They're notorious for their propaganda. These guys are running about with AKs, they've got uniforms, they've got logos, they're kids of the internet, you know, they know what works. There is not a typical member who's drawn to this group, but demographically speaking, we can say that they skew young and they skew male. Disenfranchised young white men, obviously. They've got a lot of rich upper class kids. Some people radicalize and add them often with their propaganda, with their messaging, with their sense of belonging, with the conspiracy theories that the system needs to be overturned. That resonates with some of these individuals. It's the lone wolf people, and there are so many lonely, confused young men. It is a group that we should absolutely be concerned about. There's no getting rid of them. I think you just have to make people scared to join them. You can't allow these kids to be advocating for killing. I don't think the, the answer is like censor them everywhere and ban them everywhere. I think the answer is like try and understand it, try and like stop it before it happens. ADL has this notion that if hate can be learned, hate can be unlearned. We are not all born bigots. 